You are invited to join me in Tanzania, East Africa, including a domestic flight to the island Zanzibar, July 18th through the 27th, 2024. Don't miss out. I'm pivoting from Ghana real estate to uh, California real estate. So before COVID, I got my license through the state of California in real estate. Then that good old go to Ghana bug bit me. And I waited for the borders to open up and I bought a flight to go to Ghana looking for land in November, 2020. So my Ghana real estate journey has been unfortunate in several ways. Uh, I bought two properties. The first property, oh, I bought both of them in 2021. The first property I bought through an African American couple that were land liaisons. I have over two years of vlogging and documenting of that experience. Ooh. And the company that they partnered with uh, sold me land that they do not own. So that is fraud, um, AKA a scam. And yeah, I wasted my money. The second land I found through my own research and I learned from the first purchase. So I did my due diligence and through my due diligence, I corrected the developer's negligence and we found out a portion of land that he sold us. He didn't have authority to sell us. So, um, he is currently going through registration right now. And, you know, my lawyer said it can take up to three years. Right now we're at month 11. So um, me and the community are waiting for him to do his part so we can get our deeds for the land. Well, the first land, I can do nothing. Um, because the people that sold it to me don't own it so i can't get any type of paperwork to even sell it or do something different with it um, and i'm most definitely not going to continue to build on that land and yeah that's just a 100 percent loss you know just plain and simple the second land if that works out i and i get my deed i'm strongly considering selling it i've got a couple offers already which is Wow. Um, so if I do decide to take that route, it'll be interesting to see how all that plays out. Mm -hmm. I would not say Ghana was a waste of time. And it wasn't a waste of time because of the, the amazing people I've met. It's literally like an extended family. I literally have like four families I can go and live with, you know, and they wouldn't even charge me. One time I had to leave the money on the counter and leave really quickly because <laughs> they were going to take my money. So, I mean, so that's priceless. That is priceless. So I literally have an extended family in Ghana. Secondly, wow. What I've learned, I've learned a whole new industry and people are willing to pay me for what I know. So that, that's, that's a big deal. Um, and last but not least, the small but mighty crew, the YouTube community that we have created over almost three years, phenomenal. Like, we're monsters. <laughs> I mean, I, mean, I can literally get emotional because this community has, has loved on me, supported me, showed me. Um, so much care and appreciation that I don't even think I could accomplish. No, I know for a fact I wouldn't have accomplished what has been accomplished if it wasn't for the small but mighty crew. So I am forever grateful and they know who they are. And we just, we just get things done on this channel. And this is just the beginning. So imagine five to 10 years from now. Um, what I see is a, a virtual economic hub so time will tell what i consider 
what I've been through. A waste of money. Yes. But I've been taught to look at the money I lost as experience tuition. I wouldn't say no outright. There are successful stories in Ghana, um, but unfortunately there's more unsuccessful stories than successful stories. So if you're willing to gamble your money, right, go for it. If you make it to the other side, wealth awaits you. Um, but it's definitely, it's, it's a gamble. If you know the right people, you have the right money, it will work out. But the catch is, how do you know you know the right people? I've had situations where I thought these people were compliant for me and it was, they put the script towards the end, you know, and I'm just like, wow. And I was like, that's where the gamble is. Knowing if you have the right people and are you willing to continue to go through people and, you know, gamble your money, gamble your time until you find the right team. So that's where the gamble is. Absolutely not. I am not completely done with Ghana. Now, when it comes to the property development sector, if this little second land purchase doesn't work out, I'm absolutely done with um, the land process. Um, but I am not uh, completely done with Ghana. There is huge opportunities in other sectors. For example, for example, my dress. Mm -hmm. Let me stand up so you can see the full glory. Yeah, I sell Kente Cough online. Like I went up to Kumasi, picked up a whole inventory of Kente Cloth. Now I have a business relationship with the chairman of Kente Cloth and Kumasi. Like there's so many there's so many other ways to stay connected and to do the business that it will be insane of me to just cut everything off because my just horrible experience with a handful of people. And on top of that, I'll be coming out with a new product line soon. Oh, I'm so excited. So stay tuned for that. That's gonna, I hope that does well. And I, I think it will, um, but that's, yeah. Stay tuned for that one. So now I am a community influencer for Southeast Los Angeles County. One lesson this journey has taught me is how blessed I am where I am here in California. Um, in spite of, there is blessings and opportunities for me here. And I'm grateful for what my ancestors died, what they fought and died for. And I'm super grateful for my parents, the price they paid for me, how they raised me, you know, <laughs> how they supported me and they continue to support me through my unorthodox decision. My ancestors and family has created a space for me to explore all my options, to live in different countries, to experience different cultures and decide what I want to do. Not what religion says I should do, not what society says, says I should do, not what all these ideologies say to do. What I want to do, you see what I said? What I want to do, that alone, that type of freedom cannot be bought and it cannot be stolen. You hear me? I will be wherever I have peace. So the vision continues, it's just, in a different location. So in a nutshell, what you'll be seeing is Cali lifestyle and real estate, mostly. Um, I'll continue to document my land purchasing process in Ghana until it is resolved. Ooh, so regarding Ghana, people can contact me on my website, vision-reality.com. You can contact me there through the contact us, and regarding Cali, I'm so excited about this pivot. And regarding California, you can find me on my website, yourlosangeluscounty.com. 
My IG is at your underscore Los Angeles County. Oh, most importantly, the your Los Angeles County Facebook group. We will be able to set up group events and just show the lifestyle of the Los Angeles County resident. Mm -hmm. So the website is live already. We're still making some you know, slight changes, but the website launch will be September 19th, 2023. Website launch on that Tuesday. That Friday, we're gonna dance the night away. I will be going to La Granada in celebration of the website launch and you are invited. September 22nd is a Bachatopia and I am a Bachatera. No experience, no problem. Class starts at 9.30 and then we will dance until 3 a.m. See you there. Hey beautiful people, I am Leslie Jones and you just watched an episode on the pivot. Make that move. Did I say that right? <laughs> beautiful people welcome to vision reality.com your authentic kente cloth liaison legacy is expressed in the hand weaving technique passed down from generation to generation in africa through kente cloth let us wear legacy folks i have videos now there's videos of the chairman of Kinte Cloth, Stefan Amofa, sharing the story, the meanings, and the origins of each Kinte. Folks, if you don't know what Kinte Cloth is, you can read about it or watch about it because there's videos as well. This update has made me excited. So you can also visit the website just to learn what Kinte Cloth is, the significance, how it is made, and a hey, there's a little extra stuff there too. So the online store, is updated and open. So if you'd like to donate to my journey, you can buy a t-shirt, Unity Through Community.